September 2, the tribes east of the Jordan. There were 44,760 capable warriors in the armies of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. They were all skilled in combat and armed with shields, swords, and bows. They waged war against the Hagrites, the Jeterites, the Naphishites, and the Notabites. They cried out to God during the battle, and he answered their prayer because they trusted in him. So the Hagrites and all their allies were defeated. The plunder taken from the Hagrites included 50,000 camels, 250,000 sheep and goats, 2,000 donkeys, and 100,000 captives. Many of the Hagrites were killed in the battle because God was fighting against them. The people of Reuben, Gad, and Manasseh lived in their land until they were taken into exile. The half-tribe of Manasseh was very large and spread through the land from Bashan to Baal Hermon. Senor, and Mount Hermon. These were the leaders of their clans, Ephor, Ishai, Eliel, Azrael, Jeremiah, Hodaviah, and Jadiel. These men had a great reputation as mighty warriors and leaders of their clans. But these tribes were unfaithful to the God of their ancestors. They worshipped the gods of the nations that God had destroyed. So the God of Israel caused King Pul of Assyria, also known as Tiglath-Pileser, to invade the land and take away the people of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh as captives. The Assyrians exiled them to Hela, Habor, Hera, and the Gozan River, where they remain to this day. Aaron's Descendants the sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Only Aaron and his descendants served as priests. They presented the offerings on the altar of burnt offering and the altar of incense, and they performed all the other duties related to the most holy place. They made atonement for Israel by doing everything that Moses, the servant of God, had commanded them. Eleazar was the father of Phinehas. Phinehas was the father of Abishua. Abishua was the father of Bukai. Bukai was the father of Uzai. Uzai was the father of Zeraiah. Zeraiah was the father of Miraoth. Miraoth was the father of Amariah. Amariah was the father of Ahitub. Ahitub was the father of Zadok. Zadok was the father of Ahimias. Ahimias was the father of Azariah. Azariah was the father of Johanan. Johanan was the father of Azariah, the high priest at the temple built by Solomon in Jerusalem. Azariah was the father of Amariah. Amariah was the father of Ahitub. Ahitub was the father of Zadok. Zadok was the father of Shalom. Shalom was the father of Hilkiah. Hilkiah was the father of Azariah. Azariah was the father of Sireah. Sireah was the father of Jehozadak, who went into exile when the Lord sent the people of Judah and Jerusalem into captivity under Nebuchadnezzar. Descendants of Issachar the four sons of Issachar were Tola, Pua, Jashub, and Shimron. The sons of Tola were Uzai, Rephaiah, Jeriel, Jemei, Ibsam, and Shemuel. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. At the time of King David, the total number of mighty warriors listed in the records of these clans was 22,600. The son of Uzai was Israiah. The sons of Israiah were Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishiah. These five became the leaders of clans. All of them had many wives and many sons. So the total number of men available for military service among their descendants was 36,000. The total number of mighty warriors from all the clans of the tribe of Issachar was 87,000. All of them were listed in their genealogical records. Descendants of Benjamin Three of Benjamin's sons were Bela, Beker, and Jediael. The five sons of Bela were Esben, Uzai, Uziel, Jeremoth, and Eri. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. The total number of mighty warriors from these clans was 22,034, as listed in their genealogical records. The sons of Beker were Zemira, Joash, Eleazar, Elioenai, Amri, Jeremoth, Abijah, Anathoth, and Alameth. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. The total number of mighty warriors and leaders from these clans was 20,200, as listed in their genealogical records. The son of Jediel was Bilhan. The sons of Bilhan were Jeush, Benjamin, Ehud, Kanaanah, Zethan, Tarshish, and Ahashahar. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. From these clans, the total number of mighty warriors ready for war was 17,200. 
The sons of Ur were Shuppam and Huppam. Husham was the son of Aher. Descendants of Naphtali The sons of Naphtali were Jezeel, Gunai, Jezer, and Shillam. They were all descendants of Jacob's concubine Bilhah. Descendants of Manasseh The descendants of Manasseh through his Aramean concubine included Azrael. She also bore Maker, the father of Gilead. Maker found wives for Huppam and Shuppam. Maker had a sister named Maekah. One of his descendants was Zelophehad, who had only daughters. Maker's wife, Maeka, gave birth to a son whom she named Pirish. His brother's name was Shirish. The sons of Pirish were Ulam and Rechem. The son of Ulam was Bedan. All these were considered Gileadites, descendants of Maker, son of Manasseh. Maker's sister, Hamolaketh, gave birth to Ishad, Abaezer, and Mala. The sons of Shemida were Ahayan, Shechem, Lichai, and Anayim. Descendants of Ephraim The descendants of Ephraim were Shithala, Berid, Tehath, Elida, Tehath, Zabad, Shithala, Ezer, and Elid. These two were killed trying to steal livestock from the local farmers near Gath. Their father Ephraim mourned for them a long time, and his relatives came to comfort him. Afterward, Ephraim slept with his wife, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Ephraim named him Beriah because of the tragedy his family had suffered. He had a daughter named Shira. She built the towns of Lower and Upper Beth Horon and Uzan Shira. The descendants of Ephraim included Repha, Reshef, Tila, Tehan, Laden, Amihud, Elishama, Nun, and Joshua. The descendants of Ephraim lived in the territory that included Bethel and its surrounding towns to the south, Naaran to the east, Gezer and its villages to the west, and Shechem and its surrounding villages to the north as far as Ea and its towns. Along the border of Manasseh were the towns of Bethshan, Teanach, Megiddo, Dor, and their surrounding villages. The descendants of Joseph, son of Israel, lived in these towns. Descendants of Asher the sons of Asher were Imna, Ishva, Ishvai, and Beriah. They had a sister named Sarah. The sons of Beriah were Heber and Malchael, the father of Berzaeth. The sons of Heber were Japhlet, Shomer, and Hotham. They had a sister named Shua. The sons of Japhlet were Peshach, Bimhal, and Ashbath. The sons of Shomer were Ahai, Roga, Haba, and Aram. The sons of his brother Helam were Zopha, Imna, Shelish, and Amal. The sons of Zopha were Shua, Harnefer, Shul, Berai, Imra, Bezer, Had, Shama, Shilsha, Ithran, and Bira. The sons of Jether were Jephuna, Pizpa, and Era. The sons of Ula were Era, Haniel, and Rizia. Each of these descendants of Asher was the head of an ancestral clan. They were all select men, mighty warriors, and outstanding leaders. The total number of men available for military service was 26,000, as listed in their genealogical records. Descendants of Benjamin Benjamin's first son was Bela, the second was Ashbel, the third was Ahara, the fourth was Noah, and the fifth was Rapha. The sons of Bela were Adar, Gera, Abihud, Abashua, Naaman, Ahoa, Gera, Shafufan, and Huram. The sons of Ehud, leaders of the clans living at Geba, were exiled to Manahath. Ehud's sons were Naaman, Ahijah, and Gera. Gera, who led them into exile, was the father of Uzzah and Ahihud. After Shehareim divorced his wives Husham and Bera, he had children in the land of Moab. Hodesh, his new wife, gave birth to Jobab, Zibia, Misha, Malcolm, Jeuz, Sekiah, and Mirma. These sons all became the leaders of clans. Shearam's wife Husham had already given birth to Abitub and Elpale. The sons of Elpale were Eber, Misham, Shemid, who built the towns of Ono and Lod and their nearby villages, Bariah and Shema. They were the leaders of the clans living in Ajalon, and they drove out the inhabitants of Geth. Ahio, Sheshak, Jeremoth, Zebediah, Arid, Eder, Michael, Ishpa, and Joha were the sons of Beriah. Zebediah, Meshulam, Hizkai, Heber, Ishmirai, Isliah, and Jobab were the sons of Elpael. Jacob, Zikri, Zabdi, Elianai, Zilathai, Eliel, Adiah, Beraiah, and Shimrath were the sons of Shimei. Ishpan, Eber, 
Eliel, Abdon, Zikri, Hanan, Hananiah, Elam, Anthathijah, Iphdaiah, and Penuel were the sons of Sheshach. Shamshari, Shehariah, Athaliah, Jerashiah, Elijah, and Zikri were the sons of Jeroham. These were the leaders of the ancestral clans. They were listed in their genealogical records, and they all lived in Jerusalem.